Okay, so uh, it's Doctor Who trailer time at long last. It feels like it's been so long since we've gotten anything about Series 13 for, you know, understandable reasons because Covid delayed basically everything in the entire world. Um, they were filming a lot later than they intended and then they had to cut down the number of episodes and stuff like that. And I think they're still filming even now. Basically done, I, I believe. But um, there's still a lot of work going into it. So the fact that, you know, they needed to actually get enough of the series shot before they can actually make a trailer, so it's kind of understandable that we haven't had anything until now. Um, but I've been watching the Doctor Who uh, San Diego Comic Con panel, and I'm 37 minutes in, and I think they're just about to show the trailer, so I thought I'd, you know, pause it there and just react to it here, um, as I have done for the last few trailers we've gotten for the last couple of seasons, because um, I started reacting to Doctor Who during Jodie's run, so I'm really excited to see what they have in store for us, um, having watched the panel up to this point as well, um, I'm intrigued to see exactly what they're going to show um, in terms of what they've said. Um, so, there's not many really spoilers, but I will be discussing quickly what they talked about in the panel. Um, so, it's one long story apparently this season, which is very intriguing. Because, um, you know, I think Chris Chibnall found a lot of success with Broadchurch. Um, which is one long story that he wrote and did very well. So him applying that same stuff to a series of Doctor Who, I think is very unique, very different, very clever considering the pandemic, because therefore I think it can allow for a smaller cast of characters and a recurring cast of characters. So you don't need to get loads of you know new actors in and have to do all the tests and the uh, social distancing, all of that. It's a lot safer, I think, to have a story for the show if you're gonna make a series of Doctor Who during a pandemic that, you know, you can focus on a select small group of characters for the entire thing. It makes a lot of sense. Um, and then in terms of other things we've seen from filming pictures and stuff about villains, um, Jodie and Mandip themselves talked about an old villain um, that they're excited for us to see interactions with in this series. I don't know if we're going to see any of those that have been kind of revealed in set footage and stuff in the trailer. We'll have to kind of get a glimpse of it I suppose but yes I'm really excited I've missed Doctor Who quite a bit as I always do when it's not airing um, but I've been building up the hype as we were aware that this panel was coming um, seeing how the cast are interacting and John Bishop joined the cast as well he came across really well in this panel I thought um, the chemistry and the dynamic between those three kind of main stars of the show as well Christian as well um, but this new trio we have for the series um, they clearly get along like a house on fire, so I'm really excited to see if that comes across in this trailer we're going to get and exactly what they're going to show. So, yeah, let's get into it. Hello. There's the new guy. Jesus. I'm the doctor. This is Jess. This is Dad. No oh, way. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, it's like a Mission Impossible episode. Mm. Same. Ooh, intriguing. Any questions? No. <laughs> Those guys are excited. Okay, gonna play this back at a slower speed just so I can see what else there is. Um, so straight into staring something down here. I imagine this is like a big confrontation with a monster, maybe, or I don't know. Um, big focus on those. I feel like what she... I, I think I know maybe what she is facing off against there based on some filming pictures, but I don't want to talk about it because they didn't appear in the trailer, so um, we'll see. And then some kind of floaty, matrixy kind of world. I don't know if she's going to be quite literally talking to herself again, like in Time's Children with Joe Martin's Doctor. Um, maybe a frog on the chair? Who can say? Um... But interesting stuff. I like the patterning of like her, the pattern on her shirt there. Um, her biggest adventure yet, or whatever it was called. Um, we also had um, the new kind of cast member there, Samuel Anderson. Um, see if I can find him again. Um, he was joining. I wrote down the name of the character, Vinda, who was going to be a recurring character in this series. Um, so that's going to be fun and interesting to see exactly what um, he brings to that part, there he is. Um, that looks like what we see later on in the trailer with um, 
John Bishop's character Dan kind of falling down on like the Mission Impossible kind of thing. It looks like the same kind of like cave system or whatever, so maybe he's part of like it might be a heist episode or something. They need to do an Indiana Jones Mission Impossible kind of thing, which could be interesting. But I'm looking forward to seeing what his character probably is gonna be about. Um well I missed that, but she was reaching out to something. Uh weird, slow, robot y spinny things, a bit toclophany. TARDIS troubles, as there always are. Um Vortex there. And then the TARDIS on fire, being blown up, being shot by something, not great. Um and then New character Dan, just reintroducing the team dynamic. We can see he seems like a very Graham esque role. They dressed in sort of period clothing there, I think Yaz is. I think that's a Doctor and Yaz flying on the spaceship, which looks really cool. I like the location in the background. She's hiding something, so more drama there, maybe timeless children related stuff. Love that. Um, I don't know who that was with her there when she was shooting, but yeah, they're just establishing in dynamics really, aren't they? And giving some focus on Vinda, so. He's obviously going to be a big presence this series, um, which ends later this year. No official date, um, but I wasn't really expecting one anyway, because it's probably still up in the air, isn't it, exactly what's going on with it. Um, but yeah, I kind of hoped they'd show maybe more monstery kind of things, or just a glimpse of some more villains, but, um, you know, maybe that footage just isn't ready yet. Maybe there's CGI they need to do and stuff like that, so I can't really you know, critique it too much, I don't think, when we still have a pandemic going on. They were talking about, you know, the conditions that they were under when they made this series and stuff as well. Um, so the fact that we've gotten even a glimpse of something and they had a few photos for us too, um, better than nothing at the end of the day. Um, and her biggest adventure yet uh, speaks to the scale of this series and what they're trying to do with making it one long story, I suppose. Um, that particularly really intrigues me and what they were talking about it being one long story makes sense with that kind of tagline of her biggest adventure yet um, because it seems like they're doing something quite adventurous and a bit different um, which will make series 13 a really interesting thing I think but yeah overall uh, a good little trailer I'm excited to see where these dynamics kind of get explored um, I think the locations that they showcase like in the background and stuff looked really interesting and different uh, the shot of the Doctor and Yaz on that holding on to that flying thing looked really cool. I like the idea of maybe having like a heist-esque kind of maybe Egyptian based tomb one where they just like need to heist an item or something. Um, it could be anything really. Um, so I'm excited to see what they have in store for it. But a nice little trailer. Um, I'm sure we'll get a bit more, maybe like an announcement date trailer or something later on down the line. Um, but for now, that will happily tide me over and we shall see um, when we get more. So yeah, that's going to be everything for now, and until whatever reaction may come next, thanks for watching.